It's Miss Marler here. Today we are going to take a closer look at the percussion family or the percussion section of the orchestra. The percussion family is the oldest instrument family and its members can be linked to our earliest history. When played, the instruments of the percussion family are struck, scraped, or shaken. You can see some examples of percussion instruments here like the xylophone, triangle, tambourine, maracas, chimes, snare drum, marimba, and djembe. In the orchestra, the percussion section is in the back, here in the light blue, and sits behind the brass section. The percussion family includes the largest variety of instruments in the orchestra, yet uses the smallest numbers of players to play them. Every percussionist must know how to play many instruments and usually plays more than one instrument in any given orchestral work. Drums of several types are important members of the percussion family. In its simplest form, a drum can be described as a head or a membrane that's stretched across a container, struck by a hand, a stick, or a mallet. Smaller drums have a higher pitch and larger drums will have a lower pitch. The snare drum has snares or spiraled metal strands underneath the bottom drum head. That's what gets, gives the snare drum a raspy tone. The bass drum is the largest percussion instrument in the orchestra. It stands vertically as in this picture and it's usually played with a large soft mallet and produces a low deep sound. As you can see here in this picture, the player has the bass drum uh, tilted to the side in order to use two mallets. And in this picture at the bottom, the player has the bass drum tilted to the side on a stand and uses his leg to muffle the bass drum. The timpani, sometimes called the kettle drum, has a large single drum head stretched over a pot or a vessel that's made of copper or brass. The tension of the drum head is altered by and changes the pitch of the drum by a pedal at the bottom. Great skill is required of the player to strike the drums well and change the pitch quickly and quietly during a performance. The timpani is an essential member of the percussion family. If you remember from Peter and the Wolf, the bass drum and the timpani together represented the gunshots by the hunters. Keyboard percussion instruments have pitch and a wide range of notes. They're made up of metal or wooden bars arranged like the keys on a piano, and they're played by striking them with mallets. They produce a, so a sound that can range from mellow to really sharp, depending on the type of mallet that's used. The most common and widely used of the keyboard percussion instruments are the xylophone, the marimba, and the glockenspiel, which is here and otherwise known as the bells. The xylophone has two rows of graduated hardwood uh, bars and it's struck with wooden mallets. And the marimba is also made of wooden bars that are connected to tubes here at the bottom. With sounds that range from warm and glowing to eerie and chilling, keyboard percussion instruments are a colorful addition to the symphony orchestra. 
The percussion family includes a wide variety of unpitched, unique sounding instruments that are used for their own special sound and effect. The gong, cymbals, tambourine, and triangle are some of these auxiliary instruments. Ranging from very soft to extremely loud, these members of the percussion family can add brilliance, excitement, or a serious tone to the orchestra. So that's a quick look into the percussion family. Drums, xylophones, marimbas, cymbals, gongs, tambourines, and the triangles, they only make up a portion of this large family. And though it's not regularly included in orchestral works, the piano, organ, and harp are actually also considered members of the percussion family. Capable of the most delicate sounds and also the most exciting climaxes, the percussion family plays an important role in the orchestra today. If you'd like to experiment with creating some music on some different percussion keyboard instruments, you can go back to the Quaver music site and click on the student interactives. When you're under the interactives, you can go to playing music on the left column here and then click on the ORF library. Once you're in the ORF library, you're going to see so many different keyboard instruments that you can experiment with. If you click on one of these boxes, it'll take you to the instrument and you can hear what it sounds like. Here is the soprano xylophone and when I click on these different notes, you can hear what it sounds like. You can also click on the green boxes below, which makes the notes disappear, and you can only have a few notes there to play with if you'd like. And then also, as a review of all the sections of the orchestra, you can go back to the fun game instrument crane on the Quaver site. On the left-hand side, if you scroll, scroll down to instruments and knowledge, and then click on instrument crane, here is the game that I showed you in episode one. And you will click on the picture and uh, figure out which section uh, this instrument belongs in. And you can also take the pictures off and take the instrument names off to make it even harder. So see how many you can get out of 10. Well, that wraps it up for the percussion family. I hope you've enjoyed learning about these different percussion instruments. And actually that wraps up this entire episode about the instruments of the orchestra. If you would like to review any of these instruments, feel free to go back to any of the lessons and enjoy playing around on the student interactives on Quaver Music. That's all for now. Stay healthy and until next time, take care. Thank you.